Line up the target with the apple before tossing. I hear Maggie call out. You can do it. The girl tosses her last apple and misses again. Boo! She calls out, disappointed. Maggie is marching toward her and she grabs her hand, pulls her toward the pay table and drops three dollars in front of Jace. Give her three more. Um, my money not good enough for you? Maggie challenges, her shoulders back and fists balled. Jace cowers, takes the money and hands the girl three more apples without a word. Did you fail intro to business last year? I call out to Maggie as they walk back toward the toss line with the fruit. Because giving money to me when we're competing to see who earns the most today is not good business. Shut up, or you'll get water in your mouth. Maggie shoots back and turns to the girl to give her more throwing advice. The girl listens intently and nods a lot, and then tosses it and comes close to the target, but not close enough. I smile. Sorry, sweetheart, I think you need a better coach. Maggie glares at me. The girl just smiles because I called her sweetheart. Maggie takes the remaining two apples from the girl, who stops smiling and hands them to her friend. Maybe your bestie has a better arm. The friend is up for the challenge, and for a second I think she'll hit it as the apple sails with some good force toward the target. But she, too, misses. Damn it! Maggie bellows. My grin is beyond cocky now. I know it, and I make no effort to control it. What are your names, ladies? I ask. Courtney and Sandy? You know what, Courtney and Sandy? I say. For the last one, you can take a step closer because I feel bad you have to deal with this crazy goat farming lady. They both glance at Maggie, who is still standing beside them, smoldering like a match sliding across sandpaper, about to erupt into flames. Courtney looks back at me. We don't even know her. Consider yourself lucky. She's obsessed with me, I reply. And then it happens so fast, I don't even realize what's going on until I'm submerged underwater. What happened was Maggie spun toward Courtney, snatched the apple out of her hand and spun back toward me, hurling that bruised fruit like a major leaguer. I barely even heard the ding of the metal target compressing before I was underwater.